Hey everybody, this is Hunter Williams. I hope you are doing amazing wherever you are at in the world. Today's video is going to be all about injectable glutathione. So I actually had a video about this on my previous YouTube channel that I did a very complex in-depth guide to injectable glutathione and I actually forgot that I didn't have one on my new channel. So today, uh, in light of me getting some new glutathione recently uh, to my house because I ran out of my old one uh, that I've been using, um, I'm going to talk about injectable glutathione. So this is one of those things, it's obviously not a peptide. It is sold by research chemical companies where you can really get it pretty much anywhere. Doctors prescribe it and a lot of these IV drip clinics or uh, hydration clinics that you can go to pretty much anywhere in America now uh, have them on street corners everywhere. So injectable L-glutathione, as it would be properly called, um, is an amazing substance that is really, really good for anti-aging longevity and a whole host of other benefits that I'm going to talk about today. And uh, I kind of gloss over this one, but it's something that is just tried and true uh, that I use all the time, uh, depending on how stressed or not stressed I may be. But I think uh, this one is going to be one that covers everyone. So obviously I talk about a ton of different peptides and some peptides are good for some people and they wouldn't be so good for some other people. But uh, I think in light of all of the stress that we are exposed to in the modern world, whether that's environmental stress, uh, physical stress, mental stress, emotional stress, uh, glutathione, especially the injectable kind, uh, is something that everyone can include in their stack, um, especially if you're a adult. So what I'm going to do today is walk through how to use it, all of the benefits that you can get, and then uh, any sort of precautions that you may want to have around this if there are any. So uh, what I've been doing lately is if this video gets 500 likes, what I will do is post a PDF link of my slides down in the comments and pin, co pin the uh, comment to the top. That way you can download it. You won't have to opt in with your email or anything like that. So make sure you click a like on the video. And then obviously too, if you would like to sign up for my email list, uh, you can download the peptide cheat sheet. You get access to that and you'll sign up for my email list. And I send out uh, notifications about new videos and then also really cool informative articles. And also to all of the wink wink stuff I can't talk about on the YouTubes and uh, a lot of other public places on social media. So, um, and obviously too, if you want to be in a community of 450, uh, people that love talking about these type of topics, um, head over to fully optimized health, Jay Campbell or, or, and I are in there every single week, uh, doing live calls, answering people's questions, responding to messages and all that stuff. So, uh, make sure you check that out. So without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen. And today we're going to learn about injectable L glutathione. All right, I am Hunter Williams, and today's video is going to be injectable glutathione for longevity, and this is going to be a comprehensive guide. So by the end of this video, it is my attempt to enlighten you enough so that you can go use glutathione on your own for the rest of your life. And if you don't want to, you never have to come find me or listen to me again. So uh, what is glutathione? So basically, it is a tripeptide composed of three amino acids, glutamine, cysteine, and glycine. So uh, if you know anything about me, you know I love glutamine and I love glycine, especially for the gut healing benefits they provide. But it is naturally produced in the liver and plays a very crucial role in a lot of different biological processes, namely detoxification uh, and also immune function and antioxidant antioxidant defense. So. Uh, we really are going to employ this one uh, as it relates to detoxification. And when we look at detoxification, it's something that you don't want to do once a year. You want to be doing it on a very regular, if not semi-regular basis. So let's look at the mechanisms of action for glutathione. So basically it scavenges free radicals. So that sounds cool. What does that mean? So it neutralizes free radicals directly and also helps regenerate other antioxidants such as vitamin C and E uh, back to their active form. So basically free radicals um, kind of manifest in the body when we are exposed to a lot of oxidative stress or toxic food, toxic stuff in the environment, and glutathione is going to help neutralize those. So uh, it also is a major player as it relates to enzymatic reactions. So it acts as a cofactor for several antioxidant enzymes, uh, including glutathione peroxidase, which plays a key role in protecting cells from oxidative damage again. So you see a common theme here, oxidative stress, preventing and defending against oxidative stress. Glutathione is very big. Uh, glutathione S transferase is uh, GST. This is basically an enzyme family and it's involved in the conjugation of glutathione to various endogenous and exogenous compounds, basically facilitating their excretion from the body. So where does that lead us to in terms of benefits? 
So basically it is a antioxidant powerhouse. So um, it's often referred to as the man, excuse me, master antioxidant uh, because it's involved in neutralizing free radicals and reactive oxygen species. So that's all the rage right now in longevity circles is basically this idea of reactive oxygen species and free radicals. Um, because when we neutralize those, it helps protect cells from oxidative stress and damage, which obviously is very closely linked and correlated with aging. Like I mentioned, we have detoxification. So glutathione binds to toxins and heavy metals, which facilitates the removal from the body. Um, so it's critical, obviously, for liver health, but overall well-being. So let's pause for a second and think about all of the heavy metals, all of the toxins that are in our world today. If you look back probably even 200 years ago, you really wouldn't have maybe 80 to 90% of those toxins in the environment, meaning that you probably can't live naturally without being exposed to these, even if you're off in a very rural remote area. Um, so again, you know, maybe you could have gotten the body to produce enough of its own glutathione in past times, but right now there's an overwhelming stress load as it relates to the environment and glutathione. I personally believe is one of the best defenses against that. So this kind of plays into the next benefit, which is immune system support. So Glutathione supports immune function by promoting the production of white blood cells and enhancing their ability to fight infections and diseases. So not only help with detoxifying the body, but it increases our response to any sort of pathogen, infections, uh, what have you. And, uh, you know, this is kind of overlooked when it relates to autoimmune disease. There's all these different things people want for autoimmune disease. And I think glutathione is kind of a secret out there that could really help and benefit a lot of people, again, because of what it helps to do uh, some of these you know, immune system related issues that people tend to have. Um, obviously there's the cool stuff, which is anti-aging. So by reducing oxidative stress, glutathione helps slow down the aging process, which I know for everyone out there, particularly women is huge because it minimizes the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. Um, this is where I particularly love it and can definitely notice a difference is, uh, in regards to athletic performance. So glutathione's role in reducing oxidative stress and inflammation may contribute to improved recovery times and overall athletic performance, which I can definitely attest to. Um, I've been using it extensively for a few years now. I first came across it uh, back when I was doing some bodybuilding stuff. And um, basically what happens if you train too hard or you overtrain, you can elevate your liver enzymes. And uh, in terms of how this feels, some people may feel it, some people may, may not. I kind of felt like amped up and like, <clears throat> on edge all the time. And, uh, I noticed that it helped with that. And in doing so, it brought down my liver enzymes, um, which leads to the last one, which is liver health. So glutathione plays a critical role in liver function, particularly in the detox process. So it helps protect the liver from damage caused by toxins, alcohol, and other medications. Uh, maybe like things like NSAIDs that, uh, could be deleterious to the liver. So here is my argument for as to why everyone needs this today. So obviously, like I mentioned, we are up against increased exposure to pollutants, pesticides, and heavy metals um, in the body uh, because of um, everything in the environment. And obviously, in exposure to this, it increases free radicals. So glutathione helps detoxify harmful substances and protect cells from damage from these substances. Um, it also, too, and this is not a substance that you can use an excuse or Basically, you would never want to think about this as a defense against a poor diet, but uh, modern diets are often deplete natural glutathione levels. So when we use injectable glutathione, it's going to help replenish these levels. Um, so basically, a poor diet of processed food is going to uh, much more rapidly deplete glutathione levels because of what the body has to do to just even extract the nutrients that it needs from that crappy food that you're eating. Um, also, too, people today are up against increased stress levels. So we've got email, we've got Driving to work, we've got all these different things that a lot of people didn't have back in the ancient world. Um, so chronic stress elevates free radical production leading to oxidative stress. And glutathione regulates oxidative stress and supports the immune system. Obviously, we've got the aging aspect of it. So natural glutathione production declines with age, decreasing, or uh, excuse me, increasing disease risk and supplementing with it supports healthy aging and disease prevention. Um, also too, I will say... In my experience, people that are older tend to have a more pronounced response to glutathione. Um, obviously, it's going to be person dependent, right? You know, someone could be younger and have a lot of issues that is going to benefit from this. But typically, you know, all things else equal, if someone's older, they typically, in my experience, tend to have a better response to glutathione. So um, we've also got EMF or EMR exposure. So EMR from 
electromagnetic radiation on devices may contribute to oxidative stress. Not may, but it definitely does. Um, but glutathione helps protect against this. So I think that alone is enough of a use case for glutathione because of all of the Wi-Fi. I mean, just for me right now, I've got my computer, I've got my phone, there's a Wi-Fi router in my house. Um, all this stuff is all around us at all the times so it's bombarding us, let alone like all the 5G and stuff here. So um, there's that. And then we've got pollution and UV radiation. So urban living exposes individuals to pollution, the pollution and UV radiation, uh, which leads to oxidative stress. Um, and glutathione reduces this oxidative stress and supports skin and overall health. Like I talked about before, um, it definitely helps with the immune system and especially as it relates to, uh, the immune system being stressed out, which could mean autoimmune disease. Um, and then we've got lifestyle factors. So smoking, alcohol, and lack of exercise increase oxidative stress. And so injectable glutathione can help counteract this, um, because of the negative effects that you may or may not choose to have because of your lifestyle. So, um, I pulled this up just to give you guys some research. And again, the video gets 500 likes. I'll publish, um, this PDF. It just takes me a while to upload and make a link and all that stuff. So, uh, 2009 study found that glutathione, um, plays a critical role in protecting cells from oxidative stress. 2012 study found that, um, glutathione, uh, showed significant reductions in melanin content, um, indicating its effectiveness in skin lightening. So that might not be something that you're particularly interested in, but I know people that have melasma. I even get a little bit of melasma depending on how tan I am around my eyes there. I've noticed that it tends to help a little bit of that. So again, I don't necessarily want to be really pale, but when we look at like these splotchy uh, spots that people may have on their skin, if you're someone like me that kind of has those, it definitely helps with that. I'm not saying it makes it go away completely, but it definitely will improve it um, to where you don't notice it as much. Uh, 2013 study found uh, it's a key player in immune function. So it explored glutathione's role in modulating immune responses. Um, and it found that adequate levels are essential for proper functioning of immune cells, particularly in combating inflammation. Um, so when we maintain higher levels, it's going to enhance immune function, uh, particularly if we're in a, an environment with high pathogen exposure. Uh, 2000 studies going back a while now, um, found that it could be a promising therapy for neurodegenerative conditions. Obviously those are related to oxidative stress. Uh, 2017 study, uh, found that it may be beneficial for individuals with liver diseases, particularly non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Um, there's a huge phenomenon now going on of, uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, meaning that before people would get fatty liver if they were an alcoholic, but now you're seeing this proliferation, especially in younger and younger people where they're getting fatty liver, but they don't drink at all. So, uh, glutathione's huge with that. 2011 study found uh, glutathione supplementation may be essential for detoxification in today's toxin-laden environment, especially as it relates to heavy metals, which obviously have a very poor effect on our health. Uh, 2010 study as it relates to cardiovascular health found it may protect against cardiovascular diseases by reducing oxidative stress in the heart itself. Uh, as it relates to aging, 2013 study found that maintaining or boosting glutathione levels through supplementation could slow down the aging process and promote longevity. And then 2018 study more recent uh, in regards to athletic performance found that it may benefit athletes by reducing their oxidative stress load and enhancing recovery. And I think, you know, that's not something that's obviously a priority for everyone, but if you look at an athlete, having been, uh, you know, an athlete in a former lifetime ago, it seems like, um, that was something that I know that I wish I would have had access to this back then. And again, uh, do not quote me on this again. This is not medical advice, but as it relates to performance enhancing drugs, I do not know that glutathione necessarily would, uh, raise the ire of any governing bodies, but do your own research for that. So, uh, moving along, let's look at the modes of administration. So yes, you have to inject glutathione for it to work, but I did want to address this because it is something that I, I get asked because there are oral capsule forms out there. Um, so it's obviously available in multiple forms, including oral supplements, liposomal formulations, and topical creams. Um, injectable glutathione is considered the most effective as most things are, if you're able to, you know, inject them. 
Um, the reason is the oral form has low bioavailability due to the breakdown of the digestive system. So typically you'd want to do this intravenously. Now, if you're going to do that, I recommend you do that in a clinical setting. And again, you can go to some of these like IV drip clinics or hydration clinics, and they typically will offer that. Um, or you can do it like I do intramuscularly where you may or may not order from a research chemical company of which I will not name on my YouTube channel, but you could, uh, get that from them and then, um, use it. So this obviously bypasses the digestive system. So, um, obviously this is going to ensure higher bioavailability. Um, I did want to mention something with the liposomal delivery system. So I have not used liposomal glutathione from what I hear. It is pretty efficacious. Um, I don't know any specific brands or anything like that. You guys probably even know more than me. If you've looked into this, um, I do know there are some really, really cool liposomal formulations of different things coming in the future. Um, so obviously I will cover that when I know more because I think it's cool. You know, peptides are amazing, but there's only a certain number of people that will ever really adopt injecting themselves with something. And that's just the nature of the beast. Um, but I will say if we can get a lot of these things and hopefully I can be involved in this and I plan on being involved in it, uh, into formulations and delivery systems that can be orally efficacious. Um, I think it'd be huge. So, um, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, I, I have a lot of hope around that. I'm not someone that would necessarily trash a liposomal formulation. Um, I would, if it doesn't work as well, but I I'm very hopeful that it's coming in the future so that like you and I could just get like a little liposomal chewable thing and take it every day with glutathione and get the same effects as injecting it. So, um, that's that now side effects. I don't know of any side effects, but put this on here as I always do. So it's very safe, uh, very few side effects. Um, if you're doing high doses for whatever reason, obviously like talk to your doctor. Um, some people could have allergic reactions. Most of the time, that's just an injection site reaction. It's not too uncommon, but I would say in the case of glutathione, I rarely have heard of people having it. Um, there is limited evidence suggesting that excessive use of glutathione for skin lightening might disrupt normal melanin production, lead to uneven skin tone or other skin issues. So kind of what I mentioned before, um, if you're using it for skin issues like melasma or something like that, if you're overusing it, the possibility exists that you could go too far in the other direction. I haven't seen that, you know, and I've used it pretty extensively myself, but, um, here is everyone's favorite, the dosage and protocol. So what I did, this is you know, straight from the horse's mouth, this is kind of like what I would recommend to people based on all the people that I've worked with based on, uh, myself. So I kind of broke this up into three different things. So if you don't fall under one of these categories, I, I try to make it where you would kind of like most people be grouped into one of these. So I say, if you're dealing with an illness, um, you're chronically inflamed, you're highly diseased, you have fatty liver disease, not alcohol, fatty liver disease. Um, I would recommend one gram per week broken up into four, 200 and 50 milligram doses. So, um, I would do that until you have symptom resolution, uh, from whatever illness you are dealing with. And that's, that's still like not a huge dose, but it's, it's enough of a dose where I think people will see benefit. Um, at least the benefit will start to confer to their biological systems. Uh, the next one I have is for fat loss. So obviously glutathione is not a fat loss agent. However, in the process of helping someone lose fat, it is something that, uh, can be very, um, helpful because of what it does again to the oxidative, uh, stress pathways and everything in the body. So I recommend 500 milligrams per week broken up into two, 250 milligram doses. Uh, and again, I say, continue this until symptom resolution. Again, you don't have to worry about like cycling on cycling off, especially if you're dealing again with, you know, an illness or severe inflammation because of obesity. Um, now, and then the last case, and this would be like, for me, for instance, I'd say lean, strong, optimizing for longevity and athletic performance. Um, this is kind of my protocol that I pretty much am doing on and off all the time is 300 milligrams per week, broken up into three, 100 milligram doses. So I typically will do those on my non-training days, just because that's typically three days per week that I'm not lifting weights. Um, and what I say is to do that one month on one month off. Um, obviously I will kind of titrate that up or down depending on my stress load. So if I'm really stressed, if I'm traveling, if I'm like dealing with a ton of work stress or something like that, I'll kind of move that up. But if I'm pretty chill, you know, I'm pretty good, you know, like, um, you know, you can take a month off. So, um, by all means you could use that year round, but for all intents and purposes of just minimizing injections, even though I'm not a huge 
against injections or anything like that. It's just nice to not have to inject it because what I will get to in a second is uh, what you would do for injection protocol. So um, again, just use discretion based on your stress load, but for you know your optimized person that wants to include this in their life to just optimize every facet, that's what I would do. Now, let's move to what I said. So basically, there are providers from which you could get this on the internet. I'm not going to name them, but one of them starts with AA and one ML from this company will equate to 200 milligrams. So basically, if you wanted to use 200 milligrams, you would inject one ML. Uh, so what I would do is get a 28 gauge insulin needle and that company already mixes them. So it arrives at your doorstep mixed already. Um, and so you would just do that. Very, very simple. Now there's another one called LL, um, that is out there and they sell 500 milligram vials. So what I would do for that, these come unconstituted or unmixed, however you want to call it. Um, what I would do if it were me, this is not medical advice. It's not advice is I would add two milliliters of back water to that 500 milligram vial. And so now one 250 milligram dose is one milliliter injection. Again, I would use a 28 gauge insulin needle to do an IM injection with that. And then if I want to do the smaller maintenance dose of 100 milligrams, I would use 0.4 ml. So you can do the math. The math is not hard, um, but you know, you can do the math on how long that'll last you. If you're doing a 100 milligram dose, that's five doses. So if you're doing it, you know, three days on, or th excuse me, three days a week, you know, you might need like three or four vials uh, for a couple months applied, depending on how you want to do it. So that is my instructions for getting it and mixing it. And obviously, if you want the lowdown on that, you can sign up for my email list, where it's a little bit easier to communicate with you guys in a clearer manner. Um, so I just have the last one is my experience. So the best way to say it is it gives you an ah feeling, meaning that if I'm really stressed out within a couple of days, I can use injectable glutathione. Uh, and it does do a good job of calming me down. Now, I don't know if that's from like liver enzymes being elevated because of stress and training. Uh, it just could be a whole host of things, but basically when you stress the body out, you have all of the damage that comes from that and glutathione tends to help with it. So it definitely helps me recover faster from my workouts. Uh, like I mentioned before, if your liver enzymes are elevated, uh, hopefully not due to alcohol consumption, but they're due to like overtraining or, you know, you could be using like anti-inflammatory medications or something like that that would cause that to the liver. Um, does a really good job of helping with that. Um, and more importantly, it enhances mood, cognition, and calmness. So I notice um, I tend to be much more calm when I'm using glutathione. Obviously that would make sense because we don't have all these uh, toxins and nasty stuff floating around in our body and we just kind of feel good. Um, and then it also enhances skin and hair. So I can attest to that. Definitely like my skin and hair and stuff. And I, I do a terrible job of like keeping record of my skin and hair stuff, um, in terms of like the quality of it, but, uh, it definitely helps with that. And then also too, if you are someone that travels for work, uh, it definitely helps a lot with the inflammation and the stress from travel, uh, so whether you get jet lag or, you know, have immunity or anything like that. And then lastly, the one thing I haven't mentioned yet, but, uh, would not want to leave off to you guys just to forewarn you is that it does cause some post injection pain or sting. Um, so again, that kind of depends on the size of the needle to use. Again, we want to do this intramuscularly, not subcutaneously for, uh, overall benefit. So, um, it typically will cause a little post injection pain or sting while you're injecting. Um, so just be conscious, be advised on that uh, when you're doing it. So uh, that is it for the slides. And that is my comprehensive guide to injectable glutathione. So hopefully you found that interesting and enjoyable. Um, remember, if you would like those slides for reference, drop a like on the video. Once it gets to 500 likes, I'll make sure to post those so everyone can have access to them and download them. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to drop those in the comments. Um, I do my best to answer all the questions in the Q&A videos. Uh, probably won't have time to respond to the comments individually because there's so many now. But um, again, I appreciate you guys. Much love. And uh, if there is anything else um, out there that you would like to hear, uh, remember too that I have a link that you can submit a video topic question or request. And uh, people have done a really good job lately of sending me ideas and uh, questions they like addressed in some of my materials. So uh, appreciate you guys. Much love. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.